It was just a moment ago, Ricky Fowler at 17. Third shot after he punched out. <laughs> Daddy. Swish. I think he had the right yard again. The perfect punch out. To the perfect yardage. And then the, the hit. Joe Scotland with a great yardage there. Shout out Joe. Now Kevin Chappell at 10. 158 left for his second shot. Oh. <laughs> Well, that's what you might expect from a guy who's 10th in strokes gain T to green. Trying to get this in the clubhouse. This one up on a good line right at the hole, and it goes down! 2007 Wachovia Championship, the par for 12th, and take a look at VJ. Incredible eagle right. 324 yards, John left at 117. And don't blink. On the fly, Eagle 2. No way to stop around the hole, Mike. That's right. Just a moment ago here on 16, this is third shot. Whoa! Are you kidding me? I, I think that's what he's thinking right now. <laughs> you know what that's like? That's like banking one from way outside without calling it. Right, Terry? That's it. You got it. <laughs> Explain that to Frank, please. It'll yeah, take please. too long. Please. Boom. Come on, you call basketball, Terry, right? Brock Larson. This was at the ninth. And that sounded very ugly, but the result was very good. The 24-year-old from Denmark with an excuse me birdie at number nine, the par four. Check it. It was an eagle. Nine. Stop today. This was at 12. Bogey the tenth to drop one, but comes back at twelve. Great drive and watch this. Boom! That, that's the quick two. On the fly for Eagle at twelve for Paul Boydos as he races out to six under Paul. Will McKenzie jumping to the top of the leaderboard with shots like this a few minutes ago at six. T shot at the par three, hundred and seventy-four yards. Whoa. You can tell by his lack of reaction, he didn't know it was in. Tony Finau is in the bunker a little bit earlier. He's never played the weekend here. Oh! <laughs> Terry, you're the basketball guy. A nice dunk from Tony. Seven iron. I mean, that's not a reaction of a guy that just hold a shot. He does not know. He's got his putter in his hand. Go tell him, John. He's still got his putter. He does not have any idea. Oh, this is going to be great yeah. when he realizes what just happened. Look at Horschel. He's got no idea. Yeah. Billy's asking that again. That's it. That's the big bird. Did you go in? I went in. <laughs> Here at 13, eight iron from 200 yards. This was just a moment ago. Very difficult left hole location, but no problem whatsoever for Stallings. There's the hole in one. Wow, how about that? One, one bounce and in. Frank, how many hole in ones you had in your career? seemingly every conceivable type of hole out this just happened at the 13th 232 yard par three justin thomas Whoa! how about that how about the way it went in that could have been over the back of the green that might be the biggest bounce i've ever seen go in in the hole out for the next one but justin thomas what did he say the other day he says i've never been so Front right hole location here today, Dan, is very accessible for these players. Oh, oh down <laughs> it goes! So from Tiger to that <laughs> at 11. We saw Justin Thomas hold it in Mexico in the 70s. Sharing a house. Sit, sit, sit. 
Uh, they are the guest of. Um, <laughs> that stopped me mid sentence. It's just a good. That was straight in. Slam dunk. <laughs> They are the guests of some members at the Perdition hey, I was in, at the, that. in La Quinta in the desert and uh, apparently being treated um, quite royally. Julie Inkster, gosh, she never quits entertaining, does she? Look at that. Boom. The ninth. Pretty aggressive tee shot to get it that far down. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's a walk-off right there. You can go to the clubhouse. Just right down to 65. That is an eagle for Daniel Berger. There's not going to be enough videotape for the highlights on this. I mean, the fact that he hit it that far down, there's a second bunker. Just snuck it past that. That actually made the tick. The, this is a tricky little... Dude, guys, what are you going to say? Bucket two. Well, the good thing, Peter, is that he's going back into the breeze. <laughs> well, hello. Going back into the breeze and going down the flagstick. <laughs> That's one way to get it to stop. Jamie, how'd you make three at two? Uh, driver three iron. Beautifully hold out. Uh, quite, a, quite an incredible shot. It actually... Unbelievably fortunate because that is a, you know, that's carried it all the way to the flag, and he was wondering Coming towards the players, so it is really swirly. John Rahm, eight under par for his Saturday. Staring down. Go, come on! Yes! Oh, yes! John Rahm! Let's go! with a wedge straight in for the ace and he vaults to 11 under. The best shot from the final round of the Bridgestone Invitational came from Kenny Perry. Second shot at the sixth. Seven iron from 177 yards away. Boom goes the dynamite. It's an eagle two for KP. An early birthday present. Turns 50 next week. Well done, young man. Do occasionally experience some communication problems because this is the furthest part of the golf course from the clubhouse. Stacy online. Oh, there you go. That's the way to turn your day around. A shot from the second round of the Web.com Tour Championship. Cameron Davis, greenside bunker at 15, and that one disappears in the cup for oh, a This is back at the first. We saw that Justin Leonard, Justin Leonard slam dunk it and so bust the corner of the hole. So yeah, they've got to cut a new hole here. Another look at what Leonard did. 98 champ from the fairway. Obviously gave the uh, the first hole a fat lip. Yeah. So they, ooh, no! Can you see it sticking out? Oh, there it is. Yeah. yeah just to the right. Thank you. About five o'clock. Oh, thank you. He had a great Where'd reaction, go? though. Where'd it go? Did it go in? <laughs> I think, well, do you know, so many guys, when they rattle a stick, it ends up, doesn't it, left, right, and center? Francis Perrin Delacorte did this. Delacour with an ace at the 17th on the fly. And when you make an ace, you know what your responsibility is. 